YouTube. How's everyone doing? One shot bringing you guys another Battlefield 2042 video. And I know I'm a little late to the party here, but I wanted to go over the information that we got from EA last week regarding Hazard Zone, as well as why I think they made a big mistake by not including a Battle Royale in Battlefield 2042. But before I do that, I just want to say thank you to everyone tuning into the channel. If you are new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future Battlefield content. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. So in the background running is the official Hazard Zone trailer. I will leave a link to that video in the description down below as well as a link to the blog post from EA regarding all of the information on Hazard Zone. But if we jump over here to the blog post, there is a ton of information to dive in, but basically I'm just going to summarize it here. It's a survival type game mode where you will run in with a four person squad similar to a battle royale. However, the player count is much lower. It will be 32 player count on next gen consoles and 24 player count on previous gen consoles. And the objective of the game is to drop into the map and collect the data drives that are located across the map and prior to the game starting you will actually load into a mission area briefing screen where you and your squad will get information on where there will be a higher probability for you to locate these data drives as well as being able to use dark matter credits credits that are earned through the game mode from winning and collecting data drives to purchase weapons and upgrades for you and your squad once you have done that in the mission area briefing screen you will then load into the game where you will fight other squads and ai squads to collect these data data drives and the mission of the game is to collect the most data drives by the end of the game. So throughout the map there are three different type of uplinks that will help you and your squad get an advantage over the other squads that are playing. Those three type of uplinks are the support uplinks, the vehicle uplinks, and the redeploy uplinks. So here on the support uplink it will give your squad a ranger call in. The vehicle uplink will give your squad an LATV4 recon call in and then the redeploy uplink will give your squad a squad redeploy call in. So this is similar to what we see in Warzone and Fortnite, where you can bring back your squad mates that have died. And as you go on throughout the map, there will be different type of extraction windows where you can find more of these data drives and they will move throughout the map with the storm. So you'll kind of get pushed in and out of different areas. Now you are able to find data drives on other parts of the map other than the highlighted area. However, it's not going to be as many as it is in that uh, highlighted area. And then jumping down here under the progression tab, it says squads that can successfully capture data drives and extract will be rewarded DMC as well as bonus dealt out to members based on their actions taking during the match such as kills. The more data drives you extract the higher the reward will be for your squad. So up here on the screen now you can kind of see a picture of the end game and here it has most kills, most revives, most data drives extracted, most assists, and then at the bottom just kind of an overall picture of how the squad did. And the DMC credits that it's referring to are those credits that you can use in the loading screen where you can buy weapons for your squad or any type of power up action. Um, and basically you're going to get these DMC credits for doing those most kills, most revives, uh, most assists, stuff like that. But that's pretty much just a quick wrap up of the game mode. Personally, I think it's going to be fun. It does look interesting. However, I feel like it might get old quick. We'll have to see based on how it plays on the different maps. But here's where I'm going to say I think they messed up for two different reasons. Number one, I think this should be a free to play game mode. I think Battlefield 2042 needs some kind of free to play aspect. Free to play aspects definitely add players to the game. It allows players who are skeptical about buying the game to try it out, test the weapons, see how the movement is, stuff like that. And I feel like they definitely could have added to the player count by making this a free to play game mode. Secondly, I think they definitely messed up by not adding a Battle Royale to Battlefield 2042. Obviously in 2021, we know that battle royales are very popular and with only having two different type of real shooters that are battle royale experiences being warzone and PUBG, i think battlefield 2042 could have really added to that market of the realism type battle royale game mode especially with that new movement system that they've added from apex legends i feel like this would have been a great first person shooter battle royale and something that they definitely might have messed up on but that pretty much has it let me know what you guys think of hazard zone like i said i think it's going to be fun but we'll have to wait and see I'm just a little skeptical and for for various reasons, but that pretty much does it. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next upload.